believe it's here. You guys, in this box is my dream puzzle. No further ado, let's just open it up. Oh my God, so much packing material. Underneath this packing material is my dream puzzle. Wait, oh no, wait, how do I get it out? I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my God, it's so heavy. You guys, the 24,000 piece life puzzle. I have it, it's mine, it's in my house. It is right in front of me. I need a sec, I need a sec. All right, so who remembers in my Q&A video when I was like, my dream puzzle is the 24,000 piece life puzzle, but I'm not gonna do it until I move apartments because it would take up too much space. Well, <laughs> after making that video, I thought about it and I was like, you know, we still have a few more months left of quarantine. Maybe I should just go for it. I am filming this on January 21st, 2021. So here's my thinking. I'm just gonna work on this all year and I'm gonna keep filming bits and pieces and it'll sort of become like a video diary of what 2021 was like. I mean, literally yesterday, I just watched the inauguration of Joe Biden getting sworn in as president. And clearly a lot of things are gonna be changing. You know, hopefully we're all gonna get vaccinated. Maybe I will finish this puzzle just in time to get the vaccine. Obviously I want the vaccine, but as a young, healthy person who works from home, I am, you know, literally last in line to get one. So I think I need a new project to take up more of my time so I can stop focusing on how sad and lonely the world is right now. So I'm not gonna start it today, but maybe I'll just like peek inside the box and see what's in here. They don't sell this um, brand new anymore. At least I couldn't find one when I was looking for it. So I had to get mine on eBay, but supposedly all of the bags inside are still sealed, still brand new, like never been done. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, it is four bags of 6,000 pieces each. <laughs> There's bag number two, bag number three, and bag number four. And it's so colorful. Oh, I cannot wait to get started. Ooh, and I think this is the poster of the entire image. Check that out. Okay, but I'm gonna go through all of this in more detail in another clip, another day when I actually get started on it. I'm actually still deciding if I'm gonna do them individually or if I'm gonna try to mix everything together. So stay tuned until the next clip to find out. All right, it is a few days later. It's January 26th and it's time to open this up properly. Look at how big this thing is. I literally weighed it and it weighs 25 pounds. But before I get to that, I'm planning to post this video on Friday, which is January 29th, and that is National Puzzle Day. National Puzzle Day is like a really big deal in the puzzle community. Basically every puzzle brand out there like does some sort of giveaway or sale and I am no different. For today only, you can get 15% off any of the items in my merch store, including this Puzzle Club t-shirt, which I had to layer on top of a long sleeve shirt because it's really cold in here. I was literally wearing my winter jacket, like setting everything up, and I was debating just leaving it on for the video. So there is this Puzzle Club shirt 
There is the I'd rather be puzzling shirt and there is the women's cut every day I'm puzzling shirt as well as the Puzzle Club sticker. All of those will be 15% off for today only. Anyway, back to the puzzle. So actually I'm gonna grab a tape measure because I wanna show you just how big this box is. All right, this like barely fits on screen on my top camera here, but check this out. It is 22 and a quarter inches long, and then it's about 13 and a half inches wide. And then this is the crazy part. It is 10 and a half inches tall. That is wild. It literally has these like rope handles on the side so that you can easily pick it up because otherwise it would be so hard to like pick up and move. Like if I just grab a normal, normal sized puzzle box, look at how little that is compared to this one. So if we look at the design on the box, it's pretty straightforward. They do make the claim that they are the largest puzzle in the world. And when this was released, I think that was true. Um, by now, you know, 15 years later, it has many, many times been surpassed. But there's actually still a website, worldslargestpuzzle.com, where you can see tons of photos of people all over the world who have done this puzzle and lots of info about it. Honestly, that website is kind of why this became my dream puzzle because back in like 2007, there just wasn't a lot of information about crazy puzzles like this on the internet. And so with that site, I remember just scrolling through it and dreaming of the day that I could like get on that hall of fame, which didn't happen because they're not taking submissions anymore. So <laughs> now I have to make my own videos to make my own hall of fame. Anyway, over here, it says that this is a real size detail. So you can see just how huge the picture is gonna be. Up here is the size, which is only in centimeters. Um, you can see over here that the first language is actually Spanish and then English and then French and then uh, Portuguese, I think. So I will be converting this size in a minute. I'll, I have a little bit of math to do. And there's also a copyright date. This came out in 2007. So if we flip it over to the side, um, here is another real size detail, and then just another image of the whole puzzle. And then here is the back. And there's a lot of information, but it's just a lot of the same information in a bunch of different languages. So right here, I'll just zoom in on the English. Um, you can read that if you want to. And now let me, oh my God, flip this back over. This is so heavy. <laughs> oh. And now if we open it up, oh boy. There we go. <laughs> Look at how huge this box is. So this is a very, very sturdy box. Um, it has like an inner box and then the outer box. And I'm just gonna pull out all of the bags of pieces so that we can look at them a little more closely. So in the box, you get four of these giant, giant bags of pieces, 6,000 pieces in each bag. You also get this huge poster with tons of details so you can reference this and you know see all the detail of what you're putting together interesting that they folded it into three sections i feel like if they had folded it into four sections it would be easier to see what each section of the puzzle was going to be and then this is interesting it also comes with a booklet of how to get a, a puzzle piece replacement if one of them is lost where you literally have to count in and down and like find the spot of the piece that you're missing. So there are the English instructions, but since this was made in 2007, I feel like um, maybe this is not valid anymore. I don't know. All right, so the next thing I need to do is identify what order the bags are going to go in, because obviously I'll want to start with one of the edges of the puzzle so I can get the entire edge done to work off of, but I need to know which bag is this section and then that section and then that section. They're not labeled. So I think what I have to do is literally like look at the pieces through the bag and try to match them up to what I see on the image. All right, in this bag, I see a lot of like starry night sky, which 
is gonna be over on this side of the puzzle. So it's gonna be either section three or four. All right, based on the amount of red pieces and yellow pieces that I'm seeing, I think this one is section three. So I think that's like this sailboat and this sailboat. So I'm gonna use masking tape and I'm just gonna make a little label so that later on I can remember which one is which. And if I get it wrong, I mean, I can always you know, swap them around later, so it's fine. All right, <laughs> next bag. Okay, so with this one, I found a very specific piece. I found an edge piece that is a yellow and white striped fish, and there's only one spot on the image that has a yellow fish on the edge, and so that means that this is section one. Okay, the next two should be fairly easy to tell apart because sections two and sections four are very different from each other. I just need to look for either the daytime sky or the nighttime sky. All right, and I see the night sky in this one. I also see a few green pieces that are gonna be this um, green sailboat over here. So I'm pretty confident that this one is section four. Hmm, oh no, oh no, wait. I'm seeing a lot of pink pieces in this section which might be this like galaxy up here. Wait, maybe this one was section four. <laughs> okay, I fully lied. I think that what I was seeing over here was this galaxy. And then what I'm seeing in here are definitely like these pieces. So I'm just gonna move that label over. <laughs> okay, yeah, now that I look at this again, I think that it is section two. But I mean, as I said before, if I open one of them up and I realize it's not the section that I needed, I can always just put those pieces away and, you know, rearrange them. All right, so I moved all the other pieces out of the way because for the next few weeks, all we have to worry about is section one. So on the image here, you can see that's gonna be about this much of the puzzle. So there's a lot going on in this section, but it's all very brightly colored and there aren't huge expanses of similar colors or textures. It's a lot of different things going on. And I am fully going to, you know, completely reference the image. I'm not even gonna try to do it without looking at the picture because, you know, I'd like to make progress. <laughs> I'm not trying to stretch this out to take as long as possible. I would like to finish it relatively quickly. So let me cut it open and just show you some of the pieces. All right, I just grabbed a random handful of pieces right here and you can see that they look fairly standard. You can see that it's a bit shiny, but not like super, super glossy. It just has a nice sheen to it. The cardboard is pretty standard, not super thick, but also not super thin. There's the color that's on the back. And I'm already seeing kind of unique cuts. Like you can see this little knob has this interesting little curve to it. So that should make it a little easier to put together if the pieces are fairly unique like that. Just from the small handful that I grabbed, I'm seeing all of the standard puzzle shapes. Um, I didn't grab any four ins or four outs. They're probably in there, but I'm seeing a lot of these four types of, you know, regular puzzle shapes. So I think that's everything I have to say about the pieces and the box. Now, I'm not gonna do the puzzle in here because I need to keep this space clear to film my normal videos. Instead, I'm gonna work on this out in my dining room. So let's move out there and then I have a little math to do to figure out, um, you know, how much space I need to actually put this together. All right, welcome to my dining room aka Puzzle Central for the next few months. It's still the same day as it was earlier today. I just changed my shirt so that I could show you my other item of merch. Remember, if you're watching this on the day I'm uploading it, you can get 15% off all of my merch for today only. All right, so I have done a little math. Let me, let me walk you through this. So if we look on the box, the size of the finished puzzle is 428 by 157 centimeters. And if we convert that to inches, that is 61.8 inches by 168 
0.5 inches. Basically, the finished puzzle is going to be five foot two by 14 feet long. That is wild. Um, I don't think it's even gonna like fit in my apartment. I think when I have it finished, I'm gonna have to like go to a friend's backyard or something just to put the whole thing together. Also, I'm like just barely over five feet tall. So this is bigger than me in both dimensions. <laughs> anyway, if we divide that by four, we find that each section in each bag is going to be 42 inches wide. And I forgot to mention it earlier, but in case it hasn't been clear, I did decide to do it section by section. So I am going to do it as four 6,000 piece puzzles. I just can't mix it all together, you guys. I can't, I would be spending like the next year working on this. And I just don't have the space to spread out that much. Like I barely have the space to do a 6,000 piece puzzle. Someday I'll do a huge puzzle like this and I'll mix them all together. But you know, let's take some baby steps first. I don't think we have to jump right into that right away. So this means that each section of the puzzle that I'm going to be doing is going to be 42 inches by 61.8 inches. Now my table is 35 and a half inches by 78 and a half inches. So lengthwise, it'll fit with plenty of room to spare. Widthwise, I need a few extra inches because it's going to overhang the sides of the table. So what I've decided to do is to tape together some 20 by 30 foam boards to make my own custom like flat white puzzle surface. Now here's the thing, the foam boards that I buy are 20 by 30 inches. So if I tape four of them together, it'll be 40 by 60 inches, which is just a tiny, tiny bit smaller than what I need. It's so annoying. But I actually already um, cut down the excess that I need. So I cut some four inch panels, which are going to be taped around the outside so that it just extends it just slightly. So I have all the pieces here. I'm gonna go ahead and tape them together. Oh my God, you guys, this is wild. Can you believe that each of the four sections of this puzzle are going to take up essentially this entire piece of foam board? I think it's time for the grand reveal of dumping out our first batch of pieces. Oh my God. So not only am I going to be doing this once, I'm going to be doing this four times. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? All right, so I'll be honest, originally I was going to sort the pieces today. I was going to try to get the edge finished today, but honestly, I'm exhausted. I'm a little overwhelmed looking at all these pieces. I feel like I need to study the picture a little bit to even figure out my plan of attack and figure out how I'm gonna sort everything. So I think that's where we're gonna leave it for today. But I hope you liked seeing all of the prep work that goes into doing a giant puzzle like this. Like, as you can see, it's a lot more math and a lot more planning than if you do 
a normal like thousand piece puzzle. So make sure that you stay tuned to my Instagram because that's where I'm going to be updating you guys in real time about how I'm doing with it. And stay tuned to this channel because on top of my normal puzzle videos throughout the year, I'm also going to be continuing to document my progress and post update videos like as I finish each section. So I hope you like coming along with me on this giant puzzling journey. You know, the last time I did a 6,000 piece puzzle, I think was in high school. I'll pop some photos of it up on screen. I remember sitting on the floor, listening to MuggleCast, working on that puzzle. It was so fun. And I mean, obviously I did the 5,000 piece gradient puzzles, but a gradient puzzle is a little different than a puzzle like this with lots of imagery all over it where you're working all over the board at once instead of just working your way across the gradient. All right, so um, you need a code word for the comments. I think your code word will just be the word life. Okay, because that's the name of this puzzle, so why not? So I'd love to know in a comment, what is the biggest puzzle that you have ever done? And have you ever taken on a puzzle that is so big that it ends up split into different bags of sections. If you want to know more about that and see more of the giant puzzles that I've done, um, I have an entire video about that, which I'll link right down below. Also, um, originally my plan for this puzzle was to just collect all of this footage throughout the year and then put together one really long video of the entire thing. And I'm kind of glad I'm not doing that because I think this video is long enough that if I tried to combine all of them into one video, it would have been like a feature length movie. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.